The difficulty for us today, in these times, isn't to get new ideas into our head. It's to get the old ideas out. So I want you to try and rethink or reimagine many of the concepts that you've taken for granted so far. But according to our research, there are four generations which are currently interacting in society. Four post-war generations. So we have baby boomers who grew up at the post-war sort of time, the Cold War and so on. Uh, we have Generation X. Who are the Generation X people? The majority of cynical, reactive, angry uh, people that I'll talk a bit about later. The wires, who, who's the Generation Y? Very few Generation Y this morning, I wonder why. <laughs> Do we have any um, Generation Z? I suspect we shouldn't have any Generation Z. We hope they're at school at the moment. You hope that, and we need to understand them in some detail. So who are they? The, the baby, baby boomers. boomers. Again, can we just have a show of hands for the baby boomers? Yeah. Uh, lunch is soon, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got your vitamins lined up as well. Characterised <laughs> by optimism, values, idealism, ethos of hard work. Woody Allen, the great baby boomer, said anything can happen when you show up for work. That's a great boomer idea. Do your homework, sit up straight, and go to work early. The boomers also go at a time when technology wasn't really available, so they had to develop skills like being able to talk to people, uh, being able to phone people up, being able to hold their own in meetings and so on. And they're also a great philanthropist uh, generation, so they're, they're, they're people who like to give away money. And only the boomers would sing a song that all you need is love and believe it. So they actually think if you want to solve major world problems, hold the big pop concert. Uh, and chances are, you're Generation X. Generation X grew up in a time of confusion, political unrest, um, society conflict, uh, lots of issues, lots of, of complexity. The Cold War was over, the walls had come down, and we were left in a world that was neither black or white, it was or them. Um, than it was a far more complicated and pressurised world. <laughs> and pressurized. we're probably the last generation that will ever do that. We're, however, digital immigrants. So we grew up at a time when computers weren't available, but we had to teach ourselves to use the technology. And just like immigrants, you still retain an accent. And you can tell if you're a digital immigrant if you have to print off long emails to understand them. Yeah, if you, have to, if you have to print them off to read them, then you're a digital immigrant. And now and again, you'll go back to the old ways and read the book. The old ways and read the book. You know? Today, if, if in our generation, if you have five of these stars, you make the national news. You know? So I have to always say to you, take it ever to when difficult. So, we're digital immigrants and society's changed. We're middle managers at the moment. And we're trying to cope with Generation Y. Generation Y is revolutionaries in the world of work at the moment. Amy Winehouse is a great metaphor for Generation Y. Um, she sings like an angel, she swears like a trooper. Um, she sings retro jazz type songs, which she markets on YouTube and MySpace. There's a great sort of tension. Generation Y have come into the workforce and they behave very, very differently. This is the first generation of digital natives. People for whom computers aren't technology, they're furniture. It's always been here, it's always been around before you were born, it's not technology. Before you always it's technology. They also have parents who hover over them figuratively, um, and we call them helicopter parents. I did a research project last year looking at helicopter parents who hover over Generation Y, intervening like personal SWAT teams whenever they, whenever they have problems. And the helicopter parents behave just like footballers' agents, so they negotiate on behalf of the client. Yeah. We've had